good evening good evening anywhere you are watching from all over the world I don't have much time anytime you see that I'm broadcasting from the car you definitely know that it's an emergency I am currently at the village I have an appointment with Godfather tomorrow and the today as well and I'm just coming out from there I decided to come and speak to you speak to the youths in Zambia speak to men and women in Zambia this broadcast is a political broadcast it's not a broadcast of preaching or, or praying a broadcast of any other thing it's a political broadcast like I've always said the sooner we Africans realize that there is more power in politics than religion the better we can pray from here to Jerusalem if we don't have the powers to make decision in government we are wasting our time pandemic is affecting a lot of churches today because there are no powerful people in government places so it's more important for you to join politics than for them to waste their time doing religion many of them are wasting their time in bible school doing all sorts of things that doesn't profit them in any way there is more that we can do for the people in africa than wasting our time in things that does not make sense before i start uh, talking now like i said i have just few minutes i think in the next 20 minutes i'll be done with the broadcast because I mean, but there are some things I want to reveal to the people of Zambia as we as they head uh, towards the election. Very important thing that I need to share with you. But before I do that, please share this broadcast. Share this broadcast in all the all the groups. Share it in all the the pages. Share it on Facebook. Share it on WhatsApp. Share it everywhere. Let people know that CR1 is live. And of course, you know that any time that see one is live, there is something important that you will hear. There is something important that see one need to share. So I'm here. I want to share something very, very important, extremely important. So start sharing the broadcast. Share it as many as you can. Share it everywhere. Let people, even those in opposition, those in the ruling party, let everyone know that see one is live share right now quickly before i start talking before uh, i start speaking hurry hurry do quick is this life now or i'm watching a repeat this is life now i am live i'm currently live it's not a repeat broadcast this is a live broadcast anywhere you are watching from this is a nice broadcast looking more handsome see i want <laughs> Thank you. It's a supernatural issue. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Bowman Lusambo said he's coming back to power. I don't have time to talk about that idiot now. There is something important that I want to share with you. But remember, you are watching me right now. I want you to know one thing. I do not have any representative anywhere. People are using my name to steal money from people. They are, they are using my name to steal millions from people, especially in Zambia. I do not have any representative anywhere in Zambia, in, in, in South Africa, anywhere. No. I have only but one WhatsApp number. One WhatsApp number. Anyone that is telling you, send a message for CR1. CR1 has a representative in in Zambia. In it's a lie. It's a crook. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let me type the number zero seven eight nine nine three five one four four. 
I have pinned my number. This is the only phone number that I have. On WhatsApp or anywhere, you want to talk to CR1, you want to interact with CR1, this is the only phone number. You want something from CR1, whatever you want from CR1, please, this is my number and this is the only number I have. I don't have any other number or any representative anywhere in the world. Plus 277. 8993-5144. This is the only number that I have. Apart from that number, there is no any other number anywhere in the world. I've already mentioned people that are using my name to steal from people. We are working on that. If you know that someone stole your money from Zambia, claiming to be Sia one using a page called Prophetic Sia or any other page, please send me a message on WhatsApp. Send me the proof that you were scammed. Send me the proof that you sent money to that person. We are already closing in on, on those people. We are, we are already with them. We are already, we are already having them at hand. So send me, go to WhatsApp after this broadcast. Send me the proof that they stole money from you. Send me the proof that you sent money to them. We have already collected an, enough evidence and a lot of evidence. Continue sending me. We are scammed by prophetic seer. You were scammed by Prophetic Seer. I am live broadcasting. Prophetic Seer is replying on people's messages, claiming to be Seer 1, and you managed to send money to Prophetic Seer. Please send me the proof. Send me the proof on WhatsApp. We have collected enough proof. We have con collected enough evidence. But continue sending me the proof. Someone says, Seer 1, you are looking good in beds. <laughs> It's a supernatural. <laughs> Thank you. But the reason why I am here this night is a very simple thing. Uh, I want to talk about the other day I was I was coming live and unfortunately we lost the signal. The network was very poor because it was running and uh, it was raining heavily. We lost the, the broadcast. But the reason why I came tonight is that there are so many things that I want to talk to you about. People of Zambia. Youth of Zambia. There are many things that I want to talk to you about. Since uh, the, the cyber bully bill went through the parliament and Daddy Galungu signed it. I have never spoken about it. I have never talked about it. Many people are, we are consigned. Many people are crying. See, I want to look at this. See, I want to look at what Teddy Galungo has done. See, I want to look at the cyber thing has gone through and so on and so forth. I didn't speak about it. I was quiet about it. The reason why I was quiet was because I wanted some of the people that were supporting it to be caught red-handed in it. You see, you are watching me right now. I don't know where you are watching me from. Maybe you are watching me from Zambia, from Nigeria, from Botswana. Bad thing is a bad thing. Anywhere you see bad thing, call it bad thing. Never ever in your life say bad thing is good. Don't support evil. Don't support bad thing. When they were busy creating and pushing for that bill to go through, there were people that were supporting it. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people were supporting it. People were happy about it. One of the people that were happy about it was my friend, Tilifia, Tilifia Tayale. People were so happy and excited, excited about the bill. I kept quiet because I wanted that bill to catch one of the people that supported it. That bill has caught Chilufia Tayali. It has caught him. Those of you that follow C1, that do, you don't understand C1, you see C1 as one of the prophets that you know in Zambia, as one of the prophets that you know in Africa, you see C1 as one of those prophets. When I say something, you think that I'm joking. One thing that you will remember today is that Few months ago, Eddie Galungu uh, uh, terminated the appointment of Chitalu Chilufia. People were happy. People were celebrating. People were clapping hand. Many people sent me a message to say, Papa, you have seen that Eddie Galungu has changed. Every 
everybody was the, people were overjoyed. People, you know, people thought Eddie Galunga said, I came and I told you that Eddie Galunga can never fire anybody for corruption because Eddie Galunga is a corrupt human being. Eddie Galunga is a papa of corruption. He cannot fire anybody. And the people came to attack me. They came and attacked me on my post. They came and attacked me in bus. They said, see a one you don't appreciate. They said, see a one clap, you know, give, uh, give uh, honor to where honor is due. At least clap for Eddie Galungu for firing Chilifia Chitalu. I said Eddie Galungu did not fire Chitalu. I intercepted a phone call and the meeting that was held between Eddie Galungu and the uh, Chitalu Chilifia. In that meeting, they said, "You look, my brother, because of we are getting close to the election, sit down a bit. Immediately after the election, we are going to call you back. You will become a minister again. I told people, people said, see, I want is a liar. See, I want is joking. See, I want is this. See, I want is that. One thing you must know about see, I want is that see, I want is a very careless human being. If you want to die, you die. If, if you want to kill yourself, you kill yourself. I don't care about anything. What I know is because I am done of power. Whatever I say will happen because i've seen it already in the spirit before it happens we have worked it already in the spirit before it happened i told you that edgar lung is corrupt was saved fatally if you are looted from the minister of health he's sharing it with edgar lung so he cannot be fired many of you persecuted me many of you fought me Many of you said, see a one you don't appreciate. Uh, see a one, see a one, you don't, you, you, you see a one, you, you don't, you, you must, you must thank Ed Galungu for firing too. I said, I cannot thank Ed Galungu for firing because he didn't fire him. Today, what I said, did it happen? Are you not aware that that, that criminal, that fool, that man, that crook, Chitalu, has now been readopted to contest as a member of parliament so that if they won election in august he will be brought back now to finish zambia completely Chilifia Chitalu, i have a question for you my brother you don't have conscience you have stolen more than more than you can handle what is left for you to go and steal in in in, in government the little you have stolen use invest it Allow other people in PF to steal as well because you have stolen more than you can you can you can you, you can imagine. Even at Galungu, you know what? Why are you taking the people of Zambia for fools? You know, why are you taking people of Zambia for fools? The people that voted you in peace, the people that trusted you so much, the people that had high hopes in you. They are the people that you are treating like fools. I told you people that Eddie Galungu did not fire Chilifia Chitalu. Chilifia Chitalu that was supposed to be in prison as we are talking today. Chilifia Chitalu's case does not even need a lawyer. He doesn't need to go to court. It's an open case. Who awarded a contract worth 17 million US dollars to a non-existing honeybee? Chilifia Chitalu. What evidence do you need to send him to prison? What evidence do you need to send him to jail? Under Tilufia Chitalu, Minister of Health is now the den of corruption. What evidence do you need? Such a person is, is, is not even supposed to be close to a president. I told you people, you did not believe me. Those of you that follow me and you don't believe me, what are you waiting for? Everything I say, tell me one thing that I say that have never happened. Eh? Today, Tilifia Chitalu has been readopted. PF has adopted all the prostitutes in Zambia, all the slave queens in Zambia in the name of adopting the youths. Believe me, it's just that, oh, God is good. <laughs> If not because of intervention of the spirit, if Eddie Galungu won election, Eh? In the next five years, Zambia will be Zambia will be will be it will be the, the, the most useless country in the whole world. I'm telling the gospel truth. Because look at look at look at look at the adoption. Look at the people that are going into parliament and they subsequently be appointed as ministers. Look at slave queens everywhere. 
thieves everywhere, crooks everywhere. Chilufi has been adopted. Aris has been adopted. The next in JJ Banda will be adopted. And so many of them, these guys are coming to destroy Zambia. Seriously. When I say something, you don't believe me. When I say something, eh, you don't believe me. Will you believe me when I told you that Chili Festival was not fired? It was a meeting. They had it. Actually, when I finished exposing them, I received a call from senior PF members of uh, senior PF, PF members. See, oh, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I don't want the people of Zambia to suffer again. Enough is enough. Did you believe me? You did not believe me. Maybe you have joined this broadcast. I want you to start sharing now. Share it everywhere. Share it everywhere. Start sharing. You are just joining. Start sharing. I want everyone to hear what I'm saying tonight. It's very, very important. Before I speak about Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali, this is the first time that I'm going to talk about him since I started my broadcast. Before I start talking about him, I want you to share it everywhere. Let everyone know that Sia One is talking. Let everyone know that Sia One is talking. And I'm talking what I know. Is there anything I told you that has never happened? We are only waiting for August to come for you to know that Sia One is the dawn of power. Whatever he say happens. Everything I've told you has happened. Tell me what Chilufia Chitalu is going back to do in parliament after looting billions from Ministry of Health. What is he going to do? If he was fired for corruption, is he not supposed to be going to court? Eh? Is he not supposed to be gallivanting in the police cell? Eh? What is he doing as a member of parliament? Eh? I warned you, people of Zambia, you did not listen to me. To my friend, Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali. He's a very good friend of mine, you know. I love him. Not because of anything. I just love him. <laughs> you, I, I may not agree with him on so many things. But when I look at him, I see somebody that has a bright future. Just that he needs to be patient with money. Money is good. But don't sell your birthright because of money. You can do any other thing that you want to make money, but don't sell your birthright because of money. Money is good. Money is powerful. Everybody wants money. Everybody needs money. But don't sell your birthright because of money. Just because of pieces of money. The people that are making money in PF, the criminals, the, 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 the cadres, the, they are making billions. You know, they don't even care. But when they give Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali just a little bit, a drop, if a, a, a bone remnant, he will start jumping up and down and start talking. When they were using you, Chilufia Tayali, when they were using you to attack a church, attack Chishimba Kambuiri, attack other innocent people in Zambia, I warned you. I remember that video is still on my page. Those of you that doubt CR1, go and check it. I told you that I know PF. You don't know PF. I know PF. I know them spiritually. I know them physically. Everything about PF is written in my palm like this. That I don't need a spec to dictate. Was the way they are, they are, they are, they are planning to rig election, which I'm not going to expose. Majority of the people that are watching me are from PF. Anytime I say something, they they restrategize, they change their strategy. So I have stopped hitting some of those things. I'm just waiting for them in August. We are going to see. But I know them. I know them like this in my palm. I hold them like this in my palm. I told you, Chilifia Tali, I said, PF is going to use you. And they are going to dump you. They will use you. There is nothing good about PF. It's the same thing I'm warning Chishimba Kambuiri. My brother, there is still time for you. Don't be too excited. <laughs> During the last election, it was like this. It was like this. 
They brought you in, used you, and dumped you. Election has come again. They are bringing you in. They are using you, and they are bound to dump you. And this time, it's going to be tough for you. When you call me, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm even going to insult you because I insult anyhow I want. I don't have control. I don't care about anything. You call me. You are going to call me to say, see, I want to look at what PF is doing. I'm, going, I'm telling you. Especially now that they are going to lose this election. You will see for yourself. I have never said anything that didn't happen. I want Chilufia. I said, PF will use you like a tissue paper and dump you. I even went ahead and told him. I told uh, uh, I told Chishim, uh, 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 Tayali. I said, there is a lot of people in PF. PF is filled with a lot of idiots. Like that other idiot in Kabwe, uh, Tutua, is a lawyer. If there is anything to persecute a church about, he should be the one in forefront doing that. Why is he quiet? It's quiet. There are so many lawyers, so many fake lawyers in PF, you know, like Eddie Galungu himself. There are so many of them that can be used to attack a church. Why are they all quiet and they are pushing you in front like a dog that a hunter has sent to go and check if there is something ahead? All of them were quiet and they took you and made you their dog. You back here, you back here. Because of PF, many people have hated you in Zambia. You have created a whole lot of enemies for yourself. And you are still poor. You don't have money. The people that did not sacrifice for PF are rich. Idiot, criminals and chances, opportunities in PF, they are all rich. But you are still poor. After they use you, because of you, they use you to kill Mr. Sama. They use you to kill Joseph. Because there is a lot of blood on your head because of PF. At the end of the day, look where they have pushed you. Edgar Lungu is a cold blood human being. And he's a person that does not understand, uh, he doesn't understand time. If you understand time, he will not use you and dump you. Today, they are using Simon. Simon is a nobody. How many people follow him on Facebook? There is no one there. There is not is it's nothing, it's absolutely nothing. When you see a Facebook page dealing with Zamtel and anything that has to do with government, it has been corrupted. But unfortunately, Simon is nothing. You are better, you are far better than Simon. Because politics is about number, it's not about English or, or integrity or what what. No, it's about number. And you, it was Tilufia Tayali, who stood and made PF popular on Facebook. Of course, I said it when I was doing my broadcast. I said, Tilufia Taile was doing more work for PF than Antonia Mwanza and, uh, uh, and, uh, and Sunday, Sunday Chanda. Because it was him. Whenever uh, Taile is life, look at how many people that watch him. When he posts something, even when he attacks HH, look at how many people that follow him. They have used you. They have used your popularity. They have dumped you. Today, they are married to Simon. Simon is the one now covering whatever they are doing with few people that are watching him. PF is a very useless people. They don't understand numbers. They don't, they don't even understand anything. Who is following Simon? How many, when, he, when he's talking, how many people are listening to him? Eh? They have abandoned you. They have followed him. Have you waking up now? Hmm? Have you waking up? Have you waking up? Eh? Have you waking up? Have they finished using you? I just believe that after this, you wake up and stand up for what you are supposed to do. I am the one that registered your political party in Zambia because I believed in you. I knew, I, that time I knew that you stood for the truth. You stood for the people. You stood for the people that were oppressed. Along the line, PF corrupted you and you started supporting them in the Arabish. You supported them in the cyber bury bill. Today, where are you? The bill has gone through and it has affected you. It has gone through and it has affected you. 
the lion that you bought as a pet and was training and was grooming has grown up to eat your life. Chilufia, Chilufia, Payali. When you come out, wherever you are, I want you to be a good citizen. Be a very good citizen. They have used you, they have dumped you, they have run to Simon. And they don't know that it was uh, it was uh, Chilufia Tayali that made PF popular on Facebook. What the, who was who was going to Smart Ego to do what? Which page on 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 Facebook was actually having numbers when they are talking about PF? It was only Chilufia Tayali that helped the PF to become popular on Facebook. It was it was Chilufia Tayali that helped PF to become what they are when you come to social media. His, his, his posting alone carried more power than Eddie Galungu and any other PF pages. But today they have used you. They have dumped you. They have gone to your friend. That other one with big ass. They have gone to him. He's now, he's now their darling. Anywhere the Galung is going, they call him, he follow them up and down like a fool, a grown-up man. And, and, and if you come out, you don't wake up. If you come out, you don't wake up. You are a fool. It's better to die fighting for what is right than to live, than to live doing nothing. The youths of Zambia, I want to tell you something. I'm about to close. I want to tell you something. Every morning when I wake up, I go to a Zambian page. It's called Nkani. Nkani Zambia page. I go there. They usually post pictures of celebrities in Zambia. Some of the celebrities are ugly. Some of them are beautiful. I remember one day I was uh, in the bank. Then they posted one ugly celebrity. And I was laughing, and then uh, my security, uh, chief security, asked me, "See, one, why are you laughing like this in the bank, like a fool?" I said, "Come and see this ugly girl. Nkani has posted one ugly girl." <laughs> my my chief security said, "No, no, no, see, one, there is no, there is no human being that is ugly." <laughs> I said, "Don't be a fool. <laughs> what is the opposite of beauty?" He said it's ugly. If there is beautiful people, they are ugly people. We cannot run away from the truth. If there are people that are ugly, there are, there are people that are beautiful. It's just like that. You can't run a, There is no way you can twist the story. There is ugly people, there are beautiful people. So this ugly girl was posted. I was laughing and, you know, this man, my chief security was was not happy he said you cannot call people ugly if you're ugly you're ugly there is nothing we can do about it i can't kill myself because of that you can't kill yourself because we can't change it that is between you and your god that created you the way he created you i you know that page each time they post something i can see that thousands upon thousands of zambian youths want to say something but because they are afraid of the bill, the cyber bullying bill that has gone through, they can't say it. <laughs> Anytime Eddie Galungu posts something, they want to comment something. They are afraid. They can't comment what they want to comment. Anytime Nkani posts something, they are afraid. They want to comment something, but they are afraid because of cyber bullying, uh, bullying bill that has gone through. There is fear among the youths in Zambia. People of Zambia are afraid of talking. They don't want to talk so that they don't go to prison. They don't want to talk so that they, they don't end up being locked up. 
It's not because they don't want to talk. Their freedom of talking has been taken away by Eddie Galungu. Their joy of talking, even to joke, even to write a joke today, they are afraid. When Nkani post something, or Watchdog post something, or Koswe post something, or any of these powerful pages in Zambia post something, people of Zambia are afraid to comment. Not because they don't want to comment. Life in Zambia among the youths in social media is become so, so boring. They can't even joke with their friends. I'm talking to the youths of Zambia. They can't even joke with their friends. They are afraid of talking because they, they know that when they talk, because of cyber bullying, they are going to be arrested. Now, I want to ask you a question, the youths of Zambia. For how long do you want to be afraid? Do you know that if you give Eddie Galungu another five years to rule you, it's another five years of fear. It's another five years of boring Facebook. You cannot joke with your friends. You cannot comment what you want to comment. You will always be afraid. Do you still want to continue with this type of thing? If you want freedom, if you want to enjoy your life again, if you want to enjoy social media like any other youth in any other country are enjoying today, I'm not saying vote for a church. No. There are thousands of people going to 10,000 people that are watching me. Majority of you are youths. The first thing you have to do tonight, as I've spoken to you, is to pick up your phone, call your friends in the villages, and tell them to vote out iniquity, to vote out Edigalungu. If you are not, if you see, look at what is happening just before election. They are arresting people up and down. They are arresting people here and there. Today, Mobita Nawa is in prison. Uh, 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 entirely. I don't know if he's in prison or he's, uh, he's, he's somewhere else. But wherever he is, he's there because his freedom of expression has been taken away. Do you still want to continue like that? <laughs> if you don't want to continue like that, the power is not in the hand of Aka in the Chilema. The power is in your hand. To not just to speak or to vote, but to call your friends and let them know that time of change has come. There is no country in the world where you don't have freedom to express yourself. In Nigeria, even the wife to the president criticizes the president and goes cut free. In every country, how about in America? In South Africa, which country is arresting people? Because which country is, is infringing on people's right of of speech? If you agree with me tonight, imagine I'm telling you. Think about it. Don't just watch see a one. Don't just watch see a one and they laugh. Don't just watch see a one and say see a one I love you. See a one I love your bed. See a one you are looking good. See a one this. No, forget about those things. Think about what I'm telling you. If you want to write something on Facebook and you are afraid because you'll be arrested, remember that if PF wins election, if we didn't put our hands together and remove PF out of power, it will continue like that. In Zambia, Zambia will be the most boring, boring country in the world because there is a lot of fear in the people of Zambia. This is what I want to tell you. Think about it. Think about it. To my friend, Chilifia Tayale, I'm told that you are out. Congratulations for coming out. And as you were in prison, 
they were working with that other man the one that is uh, that old man that has old man's body but a baby inside of him that other idiot there called simon their pf is now is they, they are married to pf there is the pf don't understand also social media a fool that does not have any following a fool that doesn't uh, the, what if you are talking about following uh, believe me you should have dealt nicely with because he has following than the other one you are following i'm not talking from without go and check how many people that are watching him the only time he made sense was the day he interviewed chela that was all and when he posts video about cr1 talking cr1 you send money to cr1 don't see you when you send your money to cr1 say you send rubbish to say what do you send to cr1 do you know how much cr1 has I don't like bragging. I don't like talking. People will tell you about CR1. When you, when, if you, if you have ever sent me a million dollar before, you have the right to talk. You, you send money to CR1. You send money, you start to see one on a WhatsApp. That's, that's the only thing he knows he can say. You send money to CR1. You send, you send money to CR1. Did I tell you to send me money? Did I ask you for money? Did I force you to send me money? do you know that do you know how much i have just my security personnel my security details eight police officers eight of them the amount of money they receive in a month is able to build the house eight of them is able to build the house and they are not guiding me because they are protecting me i don't need protection they are guiding me they are doing pro uh, what is called protocol they clear the road they make sure that people that want to touch me are not touching me not because somebody cannot shoot me how can you shoot a bullet can you shoot a a breeze not because of many people say see a one he says he has power but he moves with security those people are there to protect uh, to, to make law and order to make sure that people are not touching me anyhow when i go here when i go here when i do this when i do. not because they are protecting they can't protect me protect me for what for what reason the money those people consume the money those people consume is enough to make simon a human being and then say like, yes, 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 yes. i'm not a show of human being i don't i don't i don't like to show myself but there is no prophet in southern africa that is richer than cr1 people that know me know me i, do, I don't just talk about it I don't just speak it because I'm I'm not here to boast myself, to show myself, or to come and occupy the building that is built 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 by my father. What a bullshit, rubbish building, rotten building, a smelling building, building of old blocks. Eh? And they say, say, say one, he's there, he tell you to say, there is nothing like Godfather. There is nothing like Godfather. <laughs> Even many people that are watching me today, they know themselves. They have seen him. They know. Be very careful. Somebody said, talk about ECZ. I've seen what they are doing with Pierre. Forget. According to my understanding, I heard that they discouraged gathering, public rally. They did not ban it they discouraged it whatever whatever they are planning to do with Eddie Galung however they are plan, planning to rig the election it's not going to work we have already done our mathematics I just don't want to talk too much I don't want to reveal the secret let them continue with their plans that's not a problem that's not a problem is there any question you want to ask me remember what i've told you if you still want to enjoy your freedom if the fear in the whole country now it's only in zambia that people are afraid youths are afraid to to talk they are afraid they don't enjoy themselves anymore look uncanny will post somebody something something that they will joke something that you know they will call somebody names what what and what 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 they are afraid to say to do it 
because their freedom of happiness has been taken away from them. Eddie Galungu has taken away the freedom of the people of Zambia. Eddie Galungu has taken away the prosperity of the people of Zambia. Eddie Galungu has taken away everything. Eddie Galungu has taken away the currency of Zambia. Eddie Galungu has taken away the economy of Zambia. What is left now? Everything is gone completely. Sometimes people laugh to pour out their depression. When a depressed person laughs, it helps them. Eddie Galunga has made the people of Zambia depressed and he doesn't want them to have fun anymore. Somebody said, talk about the UPND alliance. I am so happy because uh, finally UPND and other party are working together. I'm so happy, you know. This is what I've been crying and talking and talking. Those of you that are not happy because of the alliance, that are not happy because of Motati and KBF and so on and so forth, be happy. Politics is about number. Politics is not a... Uh, politics is not a... Uh, uh, it's not your father's property like the way the Galunga has turned it in Zambia. No. Embrace people. I'm happy because Mutati has come on board. I'm happy because uh, 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 KBF has come on board. I'm happy because I, I, I many people have come on board. I'm also encouraging Nefas Mumba to go on board. Harry Kalaba, go on board. It's not about the position you are going to get after the election. It's about removing the corrupt regime. Many of you like uh, uh, Nefas Mumba. Where you are today, maybe you have companies. How is the company doing? Or how are the companies doing? Eh? If you if you understand the if you're a business person or you have business idea, you understand that dollar you cannot do business in Zambia anymore because dollar has gone, it has skyrocketed beyond repair. It's not about the people of Zambia. It's not about uh, it's not about uh, it, it's not about the, your position. It's about the people of Zambia. Work together. Work together. Mm? I'm calling on Harry Kalaba. I'm calling on uh, Nefes Mumba. All of you, join hands together. Don't be like Tishimba Kambi. Tishimba Kambi did not join PF because he loved PF. He joined PF because he doesn't want to go to prison. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we all know those things. We all understand those things. I've been waiting for him to open mouth and say something. He has not said something. It means he has maximum respect for me. I will leave it here. But don't be like him. Don't. Don't be like him. Please, don't be like him. Go and join HH to liberate the people of Zambia. This man is so wise. Anita. And what, what? I didn't get that. Jimmy. For sure, Justin Mukuka is a corrupt government, of course. What advice can you give to Mr. Simon? He's, he's a young boy. He's just a, he's a spoiled young boy. So such people, you don't give them advice because for them, going having a Facebook page, inheriting your father's property is enough so somebody like that that has already arrived don't need an advice people like us we, are, we came from a well-to-do family if you if you read about if you come to nigeria and ask about reverend batram they will tell you that he's, he was a successful person the only person that single-handedly built a cathedral in my community is my father but, you know, when I decided to join Godfather, I, I was looking for a path for myself. A path that will make me do something on top of what my father did. Not to inherit. If I wanted, I can inherit the, the church. I can inherit it. I can inherit everything. He had, he, had, he had so many cars. I can inherit it. I said, no, I don't want them. I decided to abandon everything and go my way. So when I speak as a man, I know what I'm talking about. It's not from my father's, if from my father's property, de dead property, rotting property, stinking, everywhere is smelling property. And you call yourself a human being. You must start be, you must be a man. 
anyway people like this don't need an advice they they will soon die so there is nothing to talk about tired of current situation in zambia then speak to people now how do you know that hh will win election i have given over 20 prophecies in zambia including hh to win election 19 of them came to pass what will stop one from coming to pass am i mad talk about aris kaingo no i don't it's too small for me to talk about you are very wise you always speak the truth about your nation thank you talk about Chagaban, man, the ancestor continue to bless you. Amen. Ah, what you are saying is the truth, the mouthpiece of God. Thank you. We need to work together. Thank you. I remember watching one of your things, advising Tayali. Of course, and everything I told, I said about him has happened. Make sure that PF does not win this election. They are not winning. Forget about it. They are not going anywhere. You will see for yourself. Let's not bother ourselves just start preparing your just start preparing your your dressing uh, clothes to go and do inauguration and they celebrate your victory i am happy today i know you are from nigeria superpower god bless you HH -h brother ran away. That is rubbish. PF is too is too desperate that they can parade anything and call it HH -h this, HH -h that. But uh, anyway, when a horse wants to die, he kicks the highest kick. So that is the last kick of a dying horse. I prefer to listen to you than the brown envelope men of God in Zambia. Number one, there is no single man of God in Zambia. Not even one. There is no single man of God in Zambia. All of them are people that want to be men of God, but they are not. They are babies. There is no single one. So if you are going there to any of those churches on Sunday, just go there to have fun and go back home. There is nothing that is happening there. Only wise people like us are trusting you, of course. Jagaban, I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Anita Sanji say he loves you. What do you say about it? I am a, a public person. I'm somebody that I am a public uh, human being. There are millions of people that love me that I don't know, that I don't know them. It's not wrong for you to love somebody. Jagaban, you are great. Thank you. I love how you address some issues. Speak out for us, Jagaban. Thank you. I think even today, HH is popular than he was. HH is popular. There is no... HH is a household name now. And uh, I can assure you that HH is going to win this year's election with 60%. Come and cut my finger if it doesn't happen. It's a done deal. I want to say that I love you so much. I want you to be comfortable. Be happy. When you hear that I'm not saying something, don't say that PF has bought me. If PF can never buy me. They don't have money that can be able to buy me. I am the don of power, the don of money. I produce money myself so what is pf going to give to me i love the people of zambia from the bottom of my sometimes people say why you don't talk about nigeria the reason why i don't talk about nigeria so much is because i was born in nigeria but i did i was not i didn't grow up in nigeria i don't know many things about nigeria I don't even know the, the, the our president. I don't even know whether Nigeria has a president. That one we have there is, I can call him uh, our head, our village head man. I don't know them. I don't know him. I don't know anything about Nigerian politics. I don't know. 
I just hear what is happening in Nigeria. But how am I going to talk about something that I'm not sure of? If you see whatever I say about Zambian politics, they are 100% accurate. Why? Because they are things that I'm sure of. I speak about things that I'm sure of. I talk about things that I know, I have evidence and proof of. It was my power, do as I say power, that elevated PF. They came to me, did meet the series of meetings in my house. I know them in and out. So when I talk about them, it's because I talk about what I know. If you are in Zambia or any other country, and you see what is happening in Nigeria, and you know the government, feel free to join. Africa is one. Africa is not two. Africa is not divided. You can speak on our behalf. You can speak on Namibia's behalf. So long as you are speaking point, so long as you, you, you are sure of what you are saying, go ahead and speak anywhere you are. That's what I'm talking that's why I speak about Zambia. I love the people of Zambia. I don't hate the people of Zambia. There is no country on earth that I, I felt in love with more than Zambia. Because Zambia helped me to become what I am today. My name came out in Zambia. God's father's power was made manifest in Zambia. That is why I am... I am carrying the burden of liberating the people of Zambia on my shoulder. I will never betray the people of Zambia. No matter the matter, I will never in my life betray the people of Zambia. I can never take anything from PF or anyone from PF to stop fighting for the people of Zambia. I want to say that I love you. I want to say take care of yourself. Now, if you want anything from me, like for example, you want miracle money, you want marriage, your husband is misbehaving, your wife is misbehaving, you want promotion, you want visa, come on WhatsApp and send me a message. I have only but one, only but one, what I have only but one was one number. Plus two seven seven eight nine nine three five one four four. You send me a message on that line. Send me a message. Tell me what you want me to do for you. Like I said, when you send me a message, don't say hi. Hey, how are you? Don't ask me those questions. Go straight to the point. What do you want? See, when I want money, I want my wife. My wife is cheating. My husband is cheating. I want visa. I want document. See, when I'm sick, I'm having HIV. I want to be healed. Tell me what you want. And I'm going to tell you what to do for you to have it. Please remember that I don't have any representative anywhere in the world. Not in Zambia, not anywhere in the world. Even here that we are here talking, someone might be commenting, send a message to see a one. You have won this. I want to give you this. I do not reply your messages, uh, 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 your, your, your comments. If you comment, I do not reply you. Anyone that reply you is not see a one. Anyone that reply you, giving you a number, is not see a one. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. I have only but one. It pains me. I feel pain in my heart when I see people crying. When I see people crying. When I see people saying we have been swindled. We are, they have stolen from us. It pains me so much in my heart. That's why we are getting closer to capturing all those people that are stealing from you. And you teach them lessons. If you know that they have stolen from you before, so like prophetic seer, prophetic seer has stolen from you before, or the other one that calls itself prophet, uh, prophet, prophet Andrew CF and something like that has stolen from you, please come and send me the proof on whatsapp we are already there we have a lot of proof we have a lot of evidence but we still need more to finalize what if pf disappoint what if hh disappoint you the way pf did he's not going to disappoint me because I'm, i've never entered in a, into any agreement with him i don't know him i don't talk to him i don't want anything from him I don't also know, I don't also believe that he wants something from me. 
HH is somebody that I hated when I didn't know him. He's somebody that I hated because of what PF told me and PF leaders told me. Leaders like Givin Lubinda. He was in my house. Leaders like uh, Kasama Mayor, Mr. Chisanga. He was in my house. Mao Samba. He was in my house. How many of them am I, am I going to mention? How many of them am I going to mention? Leaders like Chishimba Kambuir. How many of them am I going to mention? I am the don of power. Forget. When you see me, I talk. I don't talk from without. There was camera all over my house. There in Zambia. When I look at this man of God that God has saved prophet in Zambia and pastors in Zambia, wasting their time, some even fighting me. You don't know nothing. I was in charge of leadership spiritually there in Zambia. There in Zambia. And those all these people that are jumping up and down, that it's just that I, many of them came in agreement with me. I refused to mention their names and collected what I gave to them secretly and collected money from them secretly. I am the dawn of power. Sia one is the dawn of power. I don't have competition with anybody. What I'm trying to say is that HH was never close to me. He has never been close to me. And he's, in fact, he's not close to me. I don't talk to him. I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. So how is he going to disappoint me? If HH takes over power and become like Eddie Galungu, we are going to fight. In fact, we are going to kill him. Straightforward. The reason why Eddie Galungu is alive is because when your party took power using do as I say, it's very difficult to eliminate somebody that has already patronized you. That's all. I'm telling you the gospel truth. They ask, there, there are so many other pastors in Zambia who were working with me when I was in Zambia, who are using do as I say, who are alive today and making noise. They understand what I'm talking about. There is one of them that we went to eliminate. And then Godfather came in the car that day and told us to leave him. The idiot had accident and started giving testimony. Eh, praise Allah. Hallelujah. Eh, see, one wanted to kill me. I saw God's father and they were not able to kill me because eh, I was praying. What prayer, what rubbish prayer are you talking about? When we want to harm you, what prayer? What? Who are you to pray? What prayer are you going to pray? Who are you to pray? <laughs> when we want to uh, when we want to eliminate when we want to do something to you when we want to harm you who are you to pray eh forget it forget it i don't want to talk too much there is more action in front now than talking i just want to say that i love you people of zambia people of the world i love you and many men of god this this year I want to raise thousands upon thousands of men of God and give them do as I say power. We want to do something important this year. If you are a man or a woman of God and you are watching me anywhere you are, send me a message on WhatsApp plus 277-8993-5144. I want to talk to you. I love you. May you have a pleasant night. If you have not followed this page, if you have not subscribed, follow and subscribe so that anytime i'm live you will receive notification take care of yourself bye